Also unfolding tonight, reaction coming into the stunning news that TPC has pleaded guilty to a criminal charge of violating the Clean Air Act linked to the massive explosion in November of 2019. The company will pay more than $30 million in criminal fines and penalties, also $80 million bucks to improve safety. Anchor Dax McCoy in studio now with this new at 10 report for us. Dax. Hi, Aaron and Kimberly. The Justice Department says today's criminal plea and settlement sends a clear message that safety measures are not optional and the government will hold violators accountable. The Port Nature's fire chief welcomes the end result. When you look at the TPC plant today, it appears time is standing still. Blackened equipment remains nearly five years after the blast that shook much of the plant and the community to its core. It was uh a very, very loud, violent explosion that uh, quite literally shook people out of their beds. And uh, something like that that's unexpected will no doubt linger in their memories for many, many, many years to come. Eloy Vega wasn't the Port Natchez fire chief when the plant exploded, but his department and the community are still feeling the impact. Anytime, understandably so, when one hears a boom in the area, whether it's because uh, of um, a rail car hitting together from the nearby you know, rail cars or if it's a flare from one of the neighboring um, plants, understandably so, we, can, we understand how, how it can be traumatic and folks want to know what's going on uh, if, if a boom is heard or if there's a flare. Chief Vega says first responders train for emergencies like TPC and rely on teamwork to keep the community safe. You know, again, I think that one of the biggest takeaways from this conversation is that uh, disasters, emergencies can happen. But we want the community be, to be assured that there are scores of men and women here in the community, both paid, volunteered, both fire EMS, law enforcement, hospitals and other dispatchers. You can go to KFDM.com. We've posted a story with reaction from the Department of Justice and the EPA. Aaron, Kimberly, 